is Nine News. Well, the Malaysian Prime Minister will personally thank Australian and international defence teams involved in the search for missing flight MH370 when he touches down at the RAAF Pierce base this evening. Simon Boda has the details for us. And Simon, what is on the Prime Minister's agenda? Yes, good day, Davina. Well, we hear that uh, Najib Razak will be touching down, in fact, at Perth International Airport. He will um, spend the night in Perth and then he'll be coming out here to RAAF Base Pierce, where he'll be meeting with the international search teams who've been taking part in this massive search um, 1,800 kilometres off the coast of Western Australia, due west of Perth. Now, he's only going to be here for tonight and tomorrow. He'll be returning to Malaysia after that. I do believe that Tony Abbott and the Defence Minister um, David Johnston will be with him tomorrow at some stage. Whether or not they'll be joining him on the tour of this base, I don't know. But they'll certainly be meeting. He wants to be briefed on the entire search operation and understandably, seeing as though uh, there's so much responsibility on the Malaysian government in relation to this. Yeah, absolutely. And Simon, a British nuclear submarine has also joined the search. What can you tell us about that? Well, I guess it goes to show you just how big this is getting. Um, yes, the British uh, sub HMS, HMS Tylus, we believe, is in the uh, southern Indian Ocean region and has been approved to join the search by the British government. It'll also be joined by another British vessel, HMS, HMS uh, Echo, which is a survey vessel, which I understand will also be in the area now. The Tylus has got the ability to be under the water and checking for sonar signals, so I guess it's going to be listening for the pinging of that black box, which, as we all know, only has a few days left before the battery in that black box starts to die. How long it could last after that, that is questionable. It could last a few days longer, but uh, obviously it's crucial that they get into that area as quickly as they possible to see if they can hear it. Yeah, absolutely, Simon. Thank you for the update.